channel. So today's video is obviously a lip swatch a video of all of the new ColourPop, oh my god there's a piece of hair stuck to me. So obviously today's video is a lip swatch video for the new ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks and I'm so excited about these lipsticks. I love ColourPop in general. I love their Ultra Matte Lipsticks and I absolutely love their Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks as well. Now as for the layout of this video, it is going to be a video where I'm going to be walking through each liquid lipstick, trying it on for you, letting you know what I think about it, and then doing a swatch on my arm as well. So I asked you guys on Instagram how you would like me to do this video, and one of you had said you want to see it this way, so that is why I'm doing it that way. Um, the other option would have been to do all the lip swatches up close and that like just like of my face up and then you know kind of quickly go through that and then talk about the lipsticks but I'm going to try everything on for you as I go and talk about them. So make sure to follow me on social media. All of my social media is down below for Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat and then I also have a Poshmark account so it's all listed down in the description box. Now the makeup look that I am wearing, other than the lipstick, I did change the lipstick. I was originally wearing Pacific from ColourPop. It's one of their ultra matte liquid lipsticks. I will be posting a makeup tutorial of that probably I think at the end of this week. But one of my subscribers had requested it and she actually created an Instagram fan page for me. I'm going to link that down below for you guys, but her username is iHeartBeautyAddict, which is so cute. And pretty much she just puts up a bunch of posts on that Instagram of me, whether it be a picture of me that she reposts and she's like put like quotes and pictures on it. Or she reposts like a product picture letting you guys know like, hey, Alex has this video review, go check it out. She also includes a lot of stuff in the caption letting you guys know what's going on with my channel, what my latest video is, how close I am to hitting a milestone for instance. I'm very close to hitting 500 followers on Instagram and I will be doing a giveaway once I hit that on my Beauty Vlogger 101 Instagram account, which I will link down below for you guys as well. But she is so sweet, so please make sure to go follow that account, not just for me, but for her too, because she seems really excited about it. She's doing such a great job, and I want us to all go and support her. Now, one more thing before we get started, I do want to also mention to you guys my Snapchat. My Snapchat includes little hauls, you know, whenever I get packages, I will open them up for you guys and show you what I got inside, so I've done that recently. And then like today, as I was filming this look at the lip swatch video, I was, you know, taking the time to do Snapchat I was taking the time to stop and do a little snap for each liquid lipstick that I tried on so you guys can get sneak peeks at the liquid lipstick swatches that I'm doing. I showed you guys all of these swatches as well. So I wanted to let you guys know about that in case you wanted to go follow me there. I have, it's much easier for me to snap than to do posts on Instagram and Twitter. I've been lacking a little bit in that area just because I've been so busy. Because when it comes to Instagram and Twitter and stuff, I really have to, or not Twitter as much, but Instagram and Facebook, I want to have a nice picture. And that requires daylight, which I only get on the weekends. And, you know, I don't want to put bad quality images on there just to put something up on there. But I do want to keep you guys updated on things. So I keep, I post a lot of stuff on Snapchat to keep you guys up to date on what I'm liking. You know, anything I mentioned at a haul, I'll let you guys know, you know, I'll show you guys me wearing it or I'll let you know what I think about it so far and whatnot. So I also will give you updates on just my life. So it's also kind of like a little vlog for me. So, yeah, make sure to follow me on Snapchat. All right, one more thing, I promise. In my last video, I mentioned how I wanted to start including a question at the beginning of a video, of each of my videos, so that way I can get to know you guys more. So I want to continue on doing that. So today's question is, is there a product or type of product that you do not like? Like for me, I don't like lip palettes. I don't like the idea of having a, pa a like a lip product in a pan and dipping a brush into it and putting it on my lips. So that's the type of product that I'm not into. Do you guys not like highlighters or lip pencils or something? Like let me know if there's a type of product that you just don't even want to bother buying. Now that we got the introduction out of the way, let's jump on into the ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipstick swatches and first impressions. So the first satin liquid lipstick that we are going to try on is Magic Wand. So this is what Magic Wand looks like on the lips. It's just a really nice nude. I'm very particular about my nude lipsticks. I tend to go for ones that are a little bit more pink, and this one is definitely one of those. So if you have a trouble with nudes, this might be a good one to try if you're trying to get more into nudes because it does have that pink to it. And what's nice about this liquid lipstick too is the fact that this color is very wearable, something that you can wear day to day, to work, whatever. All right, just to let you guys know, I did refilm this video, so there are like swatch stains. So I'm just going to go over the swatch stains. I hope you don't mind. 
All right, and there's Magic Wand. The next lipstick that we're going to try on is Echo Park. So here's what Echo Park looks like on the lips. It's just a little bit darker of a version of Magic Wand, in my opinion. It has a little more pink and brown to it, and it's obviously darker, um, but it's a very wearable color. Now, I'm not as excited about it. I'm not, like, super thrilled about it. It's just kind of like a nice day-to-day -day color. If you don't know what to wear, put this on, but it's not super exciting to me. But it's a good day-to-day -day color. So there's Echo Park swatched. Now, the next lipstick that we are going to try on is Frickin' Frack. So this is what Frickin' Frack looks like on the lips. It's just a very pretty color. I think this is going to be a go-to lipstick of mine during the fall, just because it's a very fall kind of berryish lip. I probably will still use it though until then, but I just wanna let you guys know that if you're thinking seasonally, what would be a good lipstick for fall, summer, winter, spring, this one's definitely gonna be a good one for fall. I've worn this one and Echo Park already, and what I can tell you from wearing both of those is that they are more comfortable right when you put them on the lips. If you drink anything, there's gonna be more lipstick that comes off, but once, whenever you look at your lips after drinking something, eating something, you still see a lot of lipstick on your lips and you don't really need to touch anything up, at least not right away. Maybe after you've eaten a couple of things, you will by the end of the day. But it also is drying. Not drying like the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks, but it does get dry as you wear it. So it's kind of like, nice on your lips when you first start wearing it and then it gets a little bit drier and drier throughout the day which is what the ultra satin matte liquid lipsticks do but you get, they get drier quicker so to me this is a matte liquid lipstick that's just a slight bit more comfortable but like the first two that i tried on in this one whenever you put your lips together like this they'll stick together so it is a little bit stickier than the ultra mattes and here is a swatch of freaking frack next we're going to try on tansy So this is what Tansy looks like on the lips, and it is just a pure chocolate lipstick. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like a milk chocolate, and I really, really like it. I was a little worried that I wasn't, um, but trying it on now, it is such a beautiful color. Another good one that will be great to wear in the fall. So here is Tansy Swatched. Next, we are going to try on the Rabbit. So this is what the Rabbit looks like on the lips. Out of all the liquid lipsticks that came out, this one to me is the one that is truly worthy of the name Satin. I feel like everything else is just a matte liquid lipstick, but just a more comfortable version. But this is the only one that has like a really nice sheen to it. Let me, let me look closer. It's almost like there's like a purple tint to it. It's just really beautiful, and it's, I'm so glad that I got this one. I'm really into pinks, especially like bright, hot pinks. This one's a little bit more on the magenta side, but I love whatever that purple tint is to it. It's just so beautiful. All right, so here is the Rabbit Swatched. The next liquid lipstick that we are going to try on is London Fog. So here is what London Fog looks like on the lips. Out of all the ones that I tried on today, now mind you, I tried on everything twice today, this is the hardest one to apply. I think it's just with reds. It just seems to bleed more and like it's just, you have to get it perfect. So this one out of all of them was the most difficult to apply. I don't necessarily think it's a problem with the liquid lipstick itself. I think it's just a color thing in general. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know that this was the most difficult to apply. It is a great red color. This is supposed to have the blue undertones to it, which if I'm not going for a red lip that has a little bit of orange to it, I go for one that has a little bit of a blue tone to it, just because that to me is like the truest red, perfect everyday red. So yeah, and I have so many of these types of lipsticks from ColourPop, so many different red versions, but this one's, this one, I think is the most similar to Creeper because Creeper to me is like a classic red. So here is a swatch of London Fog. The next one that we are going to try on is Marshmallow, which I have already tried this on and absolutely love. It's such a unique color and it's so fun. So this is what Marshmallow looks like on the lips. 
Obviously, this is a very unique color. It's like a grayish purple lipstick, and I definitely think it's going to be something that's going to be utilize a lot during Halloween um but I want to try to pull this off like just on a weekend or something just because it's such a fun color I'm so into this and it's very unique I have absolutely nothing like this no form of lip lipstick at this color so I think that's what makes it really fun as well so here's the swatch of marshmallow the last lipstick that we are going to swatch is petite four So here is Petite 4 on the lips. This is a very unique color, but I'm actually really digging it. It kind of reminds me of the Statue of Liberty. I don't, I don't know why. I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't know. Have you guys ever thought of that? Probably not. But it is a very unique color. It's kind of like a grayish, greenish color. And it's, I haven't seen any color like this before. So it's like Marshmallow, it's like another good liquid lipstick to have in your collection because it is such a unique color. Another color that I think is going to be utilized more probably around Halloween, but I definitely want to try to rock this like on a weekend out. Now here's the swatch of Petite Four. So I just want to go through the swatches really quick with you guys. So we have Magic Wand, Echo Park, Frickin' Frack, Tansy, The Rabbit, London Fog, Marshmallow, and Petite Four. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite color is out of all of the shades that I showed you in this video, as well as letting me know what product you guys uh, are not really into, like a type of product. Like for me, I don't like lip products that are in a pan. I just don't like lip palettes, period. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below, like this video if you've liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! All right, dear. Then I have or So this is what I I Enjoy. Good question. You were it.